Hey everyone, it's Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. We're going over some seriously advanced stuff today, but incredible stuff. I mean, it's showcasing the amazing things that you can achieve with uh, with with Power BI. You know, the advanced analytics that you can do with Power BI. So we're going to be covering some customer churning examples. So things like lost customers, new customers, returning customers. These are the sort of thing. These these are sort of insights that can create enormous value within within an organization, uh, especially if you're you know you're a high frequency sales driven organization. So you want to see you know you could be an online retailer for example. And you want to see well how many of your customers are actually new. You know how many customers on average are you losing or, or are considered lost. You know you could be following up on those customers. You could be uh, you could be isolating your new customers, running discounts, promotions, etc. So, so many great insights. Just as, a, just as a reminder, if you want to actually download this resource, so you, uh, you know, f- actually uh, copy the, the the formulas and code that's been written to actually discover these insights, you can just via a very small investment. You can find the link below to uh, to actually direct your, direct yourself to that uh, to that. Uh, uh, enrollment uh, area so um, don't hesitate to do that if you want to um, if you want to actually uh, find find this resource and, and and download those formulas okay so let's get into it I'm not actually going to write out these formulas today because they're actually quite lengthy they're quite complex but what I want to do is talk through them and talk through the concepts because if you can work out if you can seriously work out how to implement this in your own models uh, you are going to create some incredible immense value immense value um, you know, in your analysis um, for you, for your organizations. And that's where I want to get you to, right? I want to uh, I want everyone who views this video to get to a point where they can understand what is actually going on in these formulas because there's a little bit to it, uh, but uh, but you know there's serious, seriously awesome formulas. I mean, I I love um, implementing these um, and wherever opportunity I can. And in time, we're going to go through how you can you know, use these even further to extract you know even more awesome insight. Um, you know, but uh, that's uh, we're, we're going to work within the confines of just this video and go through the concepts, and then in the future we're going to really actually dive into well how can you how can you um you know how can you follow up on these clients how can you know which ones to run promotions to so on and so forth so what we've got here is this this first uh, this first visualization here is we've got what we would consider over time a lost customer now i realize that this actually uh, from this point down to this uh to just about 90 days is is not as relevant because we would consider because uh, we're we, when we're at the very first day we were actually really considering everyone lost at the moment so maybe there's some refinement that can happen to the function in time but if we just walk through it let's walk through what we're actually doing with this function because it's quite lengthy it doesn't even fit within our one view of the formula bar here but what we are doing is on any day so if we consider any day here uh, if we just look down in this visualization on any day how many customers have not purchased for the last 90 days in this case or or what is in, a, in the variable churn date so we are counting up the rows or counting up the customers counting up the customers who have not bought for 90 days and that's what we achieve with this function down here so we're saying filter all customers so in this case filter the customer list for any day uh, and what we're doing with all of us is we're we're actually we're actually looking at every single customer so for every single customer on on each individual day evaluate if that customer has bought anything for uh, from today or 90 days backwards and if they have not so if it equals to zero which is which uh, is represented here then they they are considered a lost customer okay so so there's a little bit to that formula and understanding what's happening in this portion here is what is key you just got to try and think virtually what is happening on any single day we are going and creating a virtual table of every single customer through this customer list um, variable and then for every single customer we're, evalu- we're evaluating well have they made a sale in the last 90 days if they have not then that is going to evaluate to zero and then we are going to count that row basically we are going to count that customer and that's how on average you can see here if we come down to the visualization it looks like we're averaging around 175 customers or it goes in between 175 and 200 over time that's how many on average through time this particular 
uh, this particular uh, data set is evaluating to. So pretty cool insight, right? Now, I guess there is a one problem with this. We probably want to somehow get rid of this uh, initial part because it's considering actually on day one, well, everyone's a lost customer because no one's actually purchased 90 days before be, before the beginning of um, this, this data actually starting. So probably some evaluation there, but still, uh, all we have to do is put in some logic around this function. So pretty cool insight. Let's now jump back and have a look. Let's have a look at our new customers by date. Let's have a look at what this is evaluating to. So it's a little bit busy, so we might want to smooth it or or or, or something like that. But here we, we're saying, okay, for every single day, well, who are our new customers? And obviously it flattens out towards the end because... Uh, because obviously uh, we're just going to get return customers there. We've, we've we've started up our business here. Most people are going to be generally new to begin with, and then over time it's going to it's going to um, get smaller and smaller. So if we have a look at this function, now this function is uh, again doing something. It's it's doing rel relatively similar logic. Uh, and if we go down here, we're saying okay, we'll count up how many customers. Count up how many customers have made a sale before today right and if they have not if they have not made a sale which is going to um, evaluate obviously it's going to evaluate to zero if they have not made a sale then i guess that is a new customer right if they have not purchased anything then they are going to evaluate to a new customer so as we get down into um, you know later time frames it's going to look back through all of this time and say okay well if it is that is an individual customer who bought on that day have they bought before if they have not then evaluate to true and then we're going to count up that customer so that's what that formula is doing Okay, and then we've got returning customers. Let's have a look at this. So returning customers is, let's just say that someone was evaluated as lost, right? So they were evaluated as they hadn't bought anything for 90 days. Well, through time, we might want to calculate, well, how many of these people on a daily basis, uh, on any given day, how many of, are they actually returning from being a lost customer? And then I guess this would be an amazing insight from, you know, if you're running promotions or you're doing marketing, how many of the customers that are coming through are actually uh, considered new, uh, considered uh, lost, like you, you, you got them back through your marketing activities. So if we have a look at this formula, now again, it's not too dissimilar to the other logic that we have created, um, but in this case, we're evaluating on any particular day we want to evaluate just the customers that have bought there. Now that's the big difference. In in the lost customers, we wouldn't evaluate it every single customer every single day. But in this case, we're actually only evaluating the customers that actually purchased on that day, on any given day. And we're saying, well, uh, go and run some logic on each individual, uh, each one of those individual customers. And we're saying, so for every individual customer that bought on any particular day, evaluate if they made a sale in the last 90 days in this case, because we've put the churn date at 90. And if they uh, did not purchase in the prior 90 days, because that's what we need to discover for a returning customer because we want to see, well, if they didn't purchase in the last 90 days, did, uh, then they are considered returning. Uh, then evaluate to true and then, they will, then we will count up that customer on that particular day. So, bit of logic there, but hopefully by talking through these functions, you can actually understand them a bit better or understand the logic of what we are trying to achieve. Now, if you just want to be able to copy and paste these functions, you can, as I mentioned earlier in the video, you can, through a small investment, actually download this uh, resource along with all resources, actually, that, um, that uh, are associated to uh, videos on the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Um, so I guess today's video was was a bit was was really advanced actually. This is this is pretty advanced. This is getting pretty advanced in DAX calculations. But again, I, as I always say in all my vis videos, it really showcases just the analytical power that you have. Right, you have so much power at your hand at your fingertips with Power BI and uh, you know the historical tools to actually generate this this sort of information used to cost thousands of dollars tens of thousands of dollars but now we can actually uh, you know through some really clean and effective formula through uh, using through utilizing the dax language we can actually achieve these awesome insights and 
don't forget, don't forget that it actually aligns to the data model. Well, actually, uh, all is incorporated in the data model. So say, for instance, we're just looking at our entire universe here, the entire data set. Well, we can actually place filters on this. So say we wanted to dive into just the Florida, uh, just our customers in Florida, or New York, or Connecticut, or if we wanted to evaluate all, all, all our top three states, check that, that out. It all evaluates uh, dynamically, right? And um, you know, incredible, incredible uh, insight uh, generation very, very quickly. So, going to round things off here. But uh, this is this was a this was an advanced tutorial for you guys. I uh, really wanted to, uh, and I'm going to go into more depth in time um, of these examples because this is this is this is the insight we want. This is the real valuable insight, you know. Um, and and only the you know only the ones who invest the time and understanding DAX and understanding how to utilize it in uh, in. Uh, within uh, Power BI or within your Power BI desktop models, um, you know, you, you're going to be the, the analyst that, that really excel, you know, really dominate uh, in terms of um, the, the work that you're producing. So I want you to be able to, you know, um, do this kind of stuff. But um, just to finish things off, um, if you if you really like this content, you know, look, I'd really appreciate a like on the video. Um, you know, I, I, I want to I want to continue to to really inform everyone and get everyone up to an advanced level of, of, of Power BI and, and those um, those likes and subscriptions really help really help the channel a lot. Uh, and and again, don't forget to actually subscribe uh, because uh, we are putting out great content, fr fresh Power BI content every weekday. So make sure you uh, subscribe to be able to see that um, see that as soon as it comes out. Good luck with this one. All the best uh, implementing these techniques in your own models. And until next time, I'll, I'll speak to you soon. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators. Uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website. Plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.